miles and miles of reptiles. Oh, and this book has a picture because it was from a little boy that used to be in my class a long time ago. So he wrote a little message and a picture to me. I'm the cat in the hat in my crocodile car. We're off to find reptiles wherever they are. We'll find lizards and turtles, then travel for miles to see snakes, alligators, and real crocodiles. There are thousands of reptiles. I'll show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Reptiles breathe air, most lay eggs on land. Some slither, some swim, some run on hot sand. Some reptiles have teeth, some reptiles have tails. All reptiles have skin that's covered in scales. First, let's meet some lizards. Count them and you'll find more lizards than all other reptiles combined. Lizards have eyelids that open and close. Most lizards you'll see on each foot have five toes. When lizards are hungry, some things that they eat are plants, insects, snails, and other types of meat. There are all kinds of lizards. Would you ever think that there is a lizard that is known as a skink? This is a glass lizard. It looks like a snake, but call it a snake and you'll make a mistake. The world's biggest lizard is here in our wagon. It can grow 10 feet long. It's a Komodo dragon. Boys and girls, this is a rhyming book I think you might notice. Reptiles are cold-blooded, but I have been told this does not mean reptiles have blood that is cold. It means that their temperature changes a lot. They get cold when it's cold, they get hot when it's hot. How do lizards get warm? Why, thank you for asking. They lie in the sun, and that is called basking. Meet my friend the chameleon. He's hiding right here. He changes his color when danger is near. When he's scared, he turns dark and he stays out of sight. But his colors turn bright when he's ready to fight. A chameleon's tail has a powerful grip. It holds onto things so that it won't slip. One eye can look one way while the other looks the other. One eye looks at me, one eye looks at my brother. On the Galapagos Islands, we'll see something new. Iguanas, they're lizards, here's what they do. They swim in the waves and when they are done, they crawl on the rocks and get warm in the sun. They have glands that strain salt from salt water and then they sneeze the salt out from their noses again. These lizards are geckos, aren't they pretty? They live in the desert, rainforest, and city. They have pads on their feet that are perfect for gripping. They can climb up a wall, even glass, without slipping. Why are they named gecko? Thing one, and I know, some chirp and squeak, and it sounds like gecko. Oh. Come meet snakes. Oh, come meet some snakes. When they move on the ground, the scales on their skin helps them slither around. A snake's jaw is loosely attached on each side. This means it can open its mouth very wide. A snake smells with his tongue. He is showing us how. See it flick in and out? He is smelling right now. How do snakes avoid danger so they can survive? Here are some things that help snakes stay alive. Snakes may have stripes, spots, or rings on their skin. They can hide in plain sight. Their skin helps them blend in. Some, some like a vine snake can fool you and me. It looks like a vine hanging down from a tree. If you hear a rattlesnake's tail start to rattle, it means I might bite you so you'd better skedaddle. A cobra is a snake that's not very polite, and that is because of its poisonous bite. When it's angry, a cobra spe spreads out its big hood. If you see it, you'll know things are not looking good. Fangs hang from its jaw and punch holes in the skin, then a poison called venom begins to flow in. Let's hope we never see that kind of snake. Now meet the turtles. Each one has a shell. This hard shell protects it and does qu so quite well. Turtles heat up in a nice sunny spot, then slide into the water when things get too hot. Turtles are toothless, so they cannot chew. They swallow food whole. That's all they can do. Here is a tortoise. I happen to know this reptile eats grass and it moves very slow. It looks like a turtle, but I understand a turtle lives in the water, a tortoise on land. About the tortoise, I discovered one thing. Each year of its life, its shell grows a new ring. So you can tell how old a tortoise is by counting the rings on its shell. Turtles have four legs, but sea turtles like these have flippers to swim. 
through the water with ease. They lay eggs on land and each mom somehow knows which beach she was hatched on, so that's where she goes. When the babies are hatched, the shells on their backs are so soft they are helpless if something attacks. We measured these babies. They're so very small. Their shells are just three inches long and that's all. On the Florida coast, in a swamp or lagoon, you may see a crocodile swimming by soon. Crocodiles have sharp teeth and they walk on four legs. Their feet have sharp claws. Their young hatch from eggs. There are crocs that can eat till they're filled up and then, it could be months, even years, before they eat again. Alligators and crocodiles look alike, as you see. That's because they belong to the same family. We looked at them closely and here's what we saw. The gator gator's teeth hang over its lower jaw. They both live near water and these reptiles glide by swinging their powerful tails side to side. If you look at their heads like we did side by side, a croc's head is thin and a gator's is wide. So that's the croc, that's the alligator. They mate in the water, then we understand the female comes out to lay eggs up on land. She digs a deep nest, then she lays her eggs in it, laying 60 or so, about one every minute. When the babies are hatched, this is how small they are. Each one weighs as much as things one's candy bar. That's not very big at all. Reptiles are everywhere. Just look, you might see one down on the ground or a pie in a tree. They come in all shapes and all colors and sizes, and you will discover they're full of surprises. The end. I hope you enjoy learning about miles and miles of reptiles in a rhyming and fun way.